My name is Jonathan Atkins uh, from Tick Performance, and this is my car, uh, 97 Camaro Z28 that we call the Grub Worm. As far as modifications are concerned with the car, it's a 329 cubic inch LT1 engine, uh, actual production engine block like came in the car factory. It has trick flow cylinder heads that were worked by TEA, uh, Total Engine Airflow, several years ago, 220 cc intake runners. Uh, still has a factory GM LT4 intake manifold. Runs on methanol, M1, billet atomizer injectors, 550 pound per hour. Pistons, rods, and crank, it has diamond custom pistons, Crower billet crankshaft, and a set of Oliver Speedway series rods. The crankshaft was custom made and it's de-stroked to uh, three and a quarter stroke, so it makes it the dimension of an old school 327. Uh, the reason it's 329 is it's been bored 10 thousandths. As far as uh, turbo system, it has a precision 8891, turbo smart, uh, waste gates and blow off. All the fab work for the turbo system was done by Rock Solid Motorsports uh, in Statesville, North Carolina. The engine management system is Holly. It has a Dominator ECU. Uh, I tune it. Basically has made a, a little over 1,300 wheel horsepower at around 32, 33 pounds of boost. We have upped the boost little by little to this weekend we're you know around 38, 39 pounds. Uh, so I mean we estimate it's probably making between 1400, 1450 to the wheel. One of the things that's key with the car is the clutch. It has an advanced clutches, uh, 8 inch, what a lot of people call a slipper clutch. Uh, but it's a long style pressure plate, adjustable clutch. That's been key to getting the car to work like it does and along with that we're running a radial. 275. That's been key to you know getting the car to 60 foot and, and, and leave like it does and that's really where we've been working with the car most is just launch and bringing power in more aggressively. Uh, so as far as uh, the car how it runs at streetcar takeover Atlanta we broke into the sevens for the first time it went a 788 at 1 80-ish. I don't remember the mile per hour exactly, but it's low 180s. We went to FL2K, and that's the first time we really started working with the radial and getting the car to leave more aggressively. And as each run progressed through that weekend, we got a little faster and a little faster and eventually ran a 754. <laughs> which that put us as the fastest GM six-speed uh, car currently, and it put us as the fastest H-pattern rear-wheel drive car in the U.S. John Rogers has a 240 with a 2JZ that had went a 55, so we just barely edged him out for that. And then this weekend, we went a 59 last night in, in uh, our first round of qualifying. we just ran a 730 at 196 so that just dropped the records that we currently have. The suspension on the car is uh, AFCO coilovers on all four corners. Uh, the front is from Minsker and the rear is just the standard AFCO big guns. We do our own suspension setup at the shop at, at TIG as far as uh, cage, the certification and all the cage was done by Rock Solid, the same guys that did the turbo fab. Torque arm we built in-house, our fabricator Matt Goins did that. Uh, it's similar in design to a lot of other serious duty torque arms instead of the factory style 
mounting location. Other than that, it's a lot of Midwest chassis parts, tubular K member and A arms up front from them. Uh, their lower control arms or control arms in the rear are Midwest. That's about it for suspension. So we've been uh, racing off and on for probably 17, 18 years when it comes to drag racing. I actually raced go-karts, dirt oval when I was a kid. Uh, my dad got me into that kind of stuff and he was a drag racer, uh, kind of did you know some engines for other drag racers on the side. That was kind of his hobby. Uh, I guess I got a lot of it from him. We started our shop to performance in 2003 and at the time I had a 99 Trans Am, which I still have. It's a roller right now. We're actually working on it, trying to put something together maybe for next season. First time, you know, it was around 02, 03 when I picked up the car, we started drag racing. At one point in time, it was maybe fifth on the cam only list for LS1 stuff, like 2005-ish maybe. We ran some heads up stuff later after that in a class called True Street locally and you know also Real Street depending on where you race but that car ran you know low fives at around 130 in the eighth. Kind of progressed from that we took quite a few years off from racing to grow the business and we moved our business you know quite a good distance and uh, recently picked this car up from a customer that we had built it for several years prior and just started racing it we actually the first thing we did with it was took it to a half mile event because that was kind of seemed like the big thing that was coming up and uh, it was still full weight for the most part uh, had a turbo system on it that we had built at tick uh, with an s480 made about 900 wheel and it ran 180 in the half mile and we were impressed with that and it, it was a stock LS ECU at the time with the 24X conversion. So at that point, you know, I kind of had the bug to want to drag race it. We started taking some weight out of it, got it down to about 3,300 pounds last year, still with the same old engine that we built for the customer, uh, same LS-based ECU, and it ran 560s at around 130 at the end of the year. Uh, ran some 880s the one time we actually ran it in a quarter. Uh, and then over the winter, of course, we did the turbo fab, the cage, did all the weight reduction, and that's where we're at now.